hello everyone. Uh, I'm Luboš Kotsman. Uh, I guess I can introduce myself as the driver of the community workgroup here, uh, which is uh, what a community workgroup for Alp, the adaptable Linux platform, which is, you know, that will be the main topic here. And uh, first, before we start, I would like to give big Thanks to Doug because this is um, this was announced like last minute, I think even like two days before the conference, and I asked him to squeeze it into the, into the schedule. And I'm really happy we, we were able to fill the room, which is good. Uh, based on what I see, the target audience is people who will be watching it online, and maybe a few individuals here. Um, and to give you context before we even start, I feel that we've done something wrong in the leap uh, by taking away maybe ownership of the community, part of the ownership's in Leap, uh, just by like putting wall in between how Leap is built, the less part inside, community part outside, being dependent on each other, I would say. And that I feel turn, could have turned off many people, you know, from actually trying to contribute to Leap because it was extremely difficult. And this talk is all about like how we can do communication it's not just discussion, but communication me in meaning like submit requests, in meaning like sending emails, uh, maybe IRC, any sort of communication where um, there is interaction in between maybe, maybe employee, you know, or the maintainer, and uh, and then the user or contributor in this case. Just how can we make it in a way that we actually bring back the ownership, that people feel, you know, I actively contribute to this, to this package. If it's broken, I am upset, you know, I want to fix it. And I feel this can establish really healthy community, contributor community specifically around Leap. So, let me introduce the group. Uh, so, um, it's called Community Workgroup. We have about 30, 32 workgroups for Alp. They are all on the wiki. If you see the link below, uh, opensuzorg slash opensuz uh, colon Alp workgroups, there's full list, which is empty. You know, it's just dump of the of the workgroups. We need to populate it with the content, which is big ask to every single workgroup driver to just uh, basically describe his workgroup, like this is our mission. You know, we are trying to maybe do perfect storage for for Slash or you know whatever whatever product. And uh, this is where we communicate. This is how you can reach out to us. That would be super good start. Like you know, it's a starting point. And uh, I feel like we've done it with our group. We have communication metrics how we communicate. Uh, we are doing uh, public reports even for other groups, which is good start. I'm not saying this is ideal start. It's definitely suboptimal for now, but it's 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 a I guess good start to start a really healthy relationship by being transparent since the planning phase of the new product. Like, uh, it wouldn't work if we would do it like after we have proof of concept because then it's sort of given the technology set and so on. We really need to make sure that we have a healthy feedback loop. People say, well, you choose this technology. It has these issues in my use case and maybe we can do something about it before it's, it's, it's decision decided, sorry. So, a uh, little bit more about the work group. I think that officially we have something like uh, people on the call. Uh, we are actually misusing the weekly open SUSE meeting. Uh, <laughs> sorry for that. I was like, let's not make another meeting because there we already have like established, you know, community. We have uh, five, six, seven people that will pop up. We know that. And that's a good start. You don't want to start alone on that meeting. And uh, I feel like this is why we actually choose to use the uh, Tuesday slot, which it's half past 4 p.m. for, for Europeans. And uh, for you, Neil, what is it, what was the time? It's 9:30 in the morning. 9:30. Yeah, 930 yeah probably the f <laughs> maybe 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 the, maybe the first meeting with coffee, something like that. And uh, basically, uh, I feel like what our group is responsible for is given in the mission. We really want to make sure that people can contribute, and we do not turn them off. We actually really make it easier, and we maybe increase the amount of contributors. Like, I feel like we can't get like just by the fact like really more contributors than to factory because like these are the people who will probably contribute, you know, factory first and so on. We shouldn't really take anything, uh, which is not there, which was the case recently, unfortunately, so it's fixed. Now, and, uh, you know, like we should try to motivate as many people to do that because, you know, they have sense of ownership in it. This is not the case now. Um, so feel free to join us on the meetings. Uh, it's every Tuesday, it's open, like anybody can just pop in. Like you don't have to take any tasks if you don't want to, but if you actually write yourself as part of the group, you should actually take action items from the meeting and help us to, you know, make us better, I guess. So, now uh, the next slide is, uh, I guess, also the last one. Mm -hmm. And I would like to have, um, you know, discussion with maintainers, with maybe recipients of the information, being it Neil, being it AXA trying to do new health, you know, and, and just get it working uh, on, on given platform, in this case, Alp. 
maybe talk to, who else do we have from contributors? It's, I see a lot of employees. Christian here, Sarah, yeah. Everybody con contributes in a different way and do not think just about code. It's also a uh, test suite. Access to maybe hosts, you know, which are running them. Like, there is a lot. Um, so how can we actually make it better for people? Easier, you know, so it should, ah? I would suggest something uh, like I've repeated the question after, so, mm -hmm. Ah, and I see. Yeah. Uh, we have good news. We don't have anything for help, right? <laughs> <laughs> like the submitting bug reports, submitting, uh, contributing to open source. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. Ah, I see. Okay, okay, good. So, how to contribute, basically? Uh, that's also coincidentally a topic on project uh, at least open source org. So Sarah was actually asking that we should have somewhere summarized uh, ways how to contribute to new platform. The good thing is that we do not really have where to contribute to. Like there is a devil project with link packages, I believe. We, so, we uh -huh. have where to contribute. Ah, we do. Right. Yeah. For now. Yeah. For yeah, now, of course. Uh, Yuri has a fair point. Uh, Yuri has a fair point, we follow factory first, so whatever is in factory will eventually turn in ALP as well. Uh, actually, context from yesterday discussion, uh, we can already do many things now which are outside of ALP, which are community related and will affect ALP as well. Uh, let me remind people of the workshop we've had a month ago, maybe, mm -hmm. where uh, basically the top issues with current distribution, uh, you know, on desktop side, were not really related to, um, not top five, to the development process, uh, but they were like centralized documentation, uh, how to install packages from outside of distribution, which is like software open source org, which we can fix now, you know, we have also contributors to it. So these are many aspects that actually create experience for users and we do not even realize it because it's not part of the media maybe, <laughs> you know, if I can simplify it, but it, it creates the overall experience. So there are places, um, where we can start now, but it would help actually to, to see, you know, see maybe some POC prototype. We can show something to people and that will probably make the contributions faster. And, it, you know, we can maybe integrate it with software open source or on, on the community variant if we want to uh, just simplify the way how people can get stuff that they need. Uh, any other idea? So I love that idea. I feel we should have contribute open source org as a landing page. Yes. I feel it should look cool. It should not be wiki because uh, it, no, it's not fancy. It's not fancy. It should be fancy. It should be easy. Tell you like. Uh, it should be able to be connected to the landing page. We have really interesting. It's obvious. I was yeah. doing. I was doing some research on this topic uh, maybe a week ago, and I figured out that we have uh, a page which is called like Tiny Bugs or something like that, which uh, it has to be manual maintained, right? And there are like little issues where you can start now, and they just take five minutes to resolve, and you can you can like become so like packager. And exactly. Yeah, but a lot of those are. <laughs> a lot of those are almost undoubtedly far out of date. Yes, exactly. It has to be manually maintained. Uh, yeah. So I agree. Contribute open source org needs to happen. Uh, you know, that should be like one of our top five items for the group. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody needs to create a nice design. Uh, maybe we could talk to Suze branding team. Uh, we I'm actually not sure that Sassy had a design for a contribute page that never got deployed. Yeah. We have to so talk to Sassy, yeah. So Sassy is actually responsible for most of the branding artwork in open source, yeah. even the new Leap micro logo. Thank you, <laughs> uh, So yeah, it has to look cool. It has to have look and feel for all, which is important for me. Uh, that was another top item I guess raised that we, you know, like uh, you don't have like that. Um, it was called brand recognition, mm -hmm. and uh, we are weak at that. I have to say that because uh, if you look at maybe uh, the enterprise, to, uh, you know, like products. If you look at us, like there is not a single shared look and feel. It doesn't even look close to be the same. Yeah. Even like talking about backgrounds, for example, talking about uh, decorations, themes, uh, websites, 
it's it's like completely different and i feel like uh just giving that sense of like this is one product family if you go to documentation you know it's probably all related somehow which is not what we have that was actually raised on the docs as well like you look for how to fix xyz in leap you will never hit slash documentation because you didn't use keyword which will actually get you there uh, so so from from that artwork perspective and you know shared look and feel for everything i guess it makes sense to actually like also for how alt will look like which is why we should talk to branding team anyway um, so these are all topics you know you see it's not just contributions like to the actual code big part because right now it really sucks i have to say excel can confirm right uh the GNU health update was really painful and uh i believe uh, by design alp could address it which is another way how to communicate with people like through submit requests now we will have just one instance i believe where everything happens which should be publicly accessible i hope that's that's the case if it's not the case we have to fix it we have to be active that's why feedback loop is important now and uh yeah i one of the topics is like that I would like to touch here is how how we should communicate as a project to the you know like telling people about updates like what's new um, do we have proof of concept will proof of concept be delayed you know are we on the time um, and we don't have really easy way to do that because uh, I feel the information that we are getting from teams is it's not like story it's interconnected pieces but we don't know the dependencies necessarily because maybe we are not part of these groups and uh, so you may see a theme in these status updates, but it's not a story. And I feel like if you just keep on dumping, we started to do yeah. on people, it will not be very efficient reading. Like they don't have like overall feel of what's happening. So uh, m my ask is maybe if individual teams could think of some communication in a way that would give people like the big picture from what they are reading. And they, they, they feel, oh, okay, that's how it fits in. And it's not easy to do. And I feel like the only team which is close to do that is currently Yast. Uh, if you have seen their, um, that's what I wanted to show. And big kudos to Yast team because they're do doing excellent job. We didn't have to ask them. Uh, let me see if that works. Yeah. So they are doing sprint reports, which is basically what we, we've done, like, uh, was it this week, previous week, Emily? Uh, I think that was previous week mm -hmm. or maybe the previous Yeah, month? it was for previous week, uh, but yeah. And the other tab, oh, we don't see tabs, right? Mm. That's weird. Yeah, okay. No, 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 like uh, the borders of the screen are yeah, here, this one. I really like the teasers, right? So every single time when Yast has like some, let's say, achievement, uh, they do really nice slides uh, or, or blog posts, and this is my recommended way. We are so used to do uh, mailing list posts, and Reddit is full of like redirects to mailing list posts. You don't have graphics, you you know, again, the look and feel is sort of, yeah, look and feel for OpenSUSE for me is kind of like status updates in, in, in factory, and that's not good for communication, I guess. It's not something that it's people... It's not easy to find. And not read. No, yeah. they're very hard to find. Yes. Figuring out what anyone is doing in OpenSUSE mm -hmm. is nearly impossible. And uh, so I feel like they do a really great job, and everybody could get some inspiration from it, including us. Like, our public reports are also not fancy. We should... We should that mm -hmm. and uh, just if every single time when we have highlight uh, maybe oh we have confirmed on the technology it will be copied you know for XYZ like for word machine management and big update for word team uh, this is what we are doing you know this is the technologies and I can give you like uh, I can give you example of how this works amazingly so what happened on DevConf the uh, Reddit conference you know where you have most of federal contri contributors and we've actually invited ad hoc during talk about installer and their take on the you know new web tech in it. We've, we've just randomly invited people from Yast channel on RC. They popped up, and we've had discussion about what technologies they are choosing, why, and then we end up with the very same technologies because there was a productive discussion, cons, you know, cons and minuses, whatever, uh, and it turned out to be really well. And I feel if we choose technologies that are nowadays cool, make sense, they are maintained, there is interest from multiple parties, uh, we can have contributors from Fedora actually working on the same issues as our contributors. Uh, it's, it's, it's just making amazing progress. It's like, you know, you get instantly 10 people, not two. And uh, if we actually start doing that, if we are starting to having public information, giving people stories and maybe try to get them together, amazing things happen. And uh, if you just cook it indoor and then it's done, take it, like, you know, technologies are given that just doesn't function really well, in my opinion. That's my private opinion, though. Um, so another way what they are doing is these sprint updates, uh, which are maybe a little bit more boring to read, but, uh, but still, probably the best ones uh, out of the portfolio that 
you know, we can, yeah. I think it's this one. You know, you agree, it's a little bit more boring to read, but like uh, public information, and for people who care, you know, this is for people who care, right? They are actually subscribing to this, this place. Um, they have everything there, and I can say that um, this is how I consume information from us. That when I actually started, like about the installer, I just you know saw it instantly. It popped up in my my queries, and uh, yeah, and then that con situation happened, conversation happened, and we've come from technologies, and that was good outcome. So how can we do that for all the other teams? Um, and I feel like it, it requires proactivity from everyone's side. Uh, you know, also getting in touch. Uh, I know that, for example, packaging team has. Uh, I mean, in Red Hat, they have like monthly meetings for DNF. Yeah, which uh, at the first, there's a, for the DNF, uh, the DNF community meeting is the first Friday of every month. See, and you know what happens, like, we also have like, I believe, ad hoc SUSE people there, right? At least one person yeah, from Zipper. Yeah, uh, uh, usually about, I think, two or three SUSE hmm. people showing up in those hmm. meetings. Hmm. At least have been for, going on a year and a half now. So, um, did you say ev every first Thursday? Okay, uh, so Neil is saying, I have to repeat it because people can't hear it. Uh, every first Friday, the DNF team has a public meeting and we have a, you know, Suze has a representation there. I'm, may, maybe not every meeting, but like ad hoc, uh, yeah. at least one person. And they can have discussions if you are talking maybe about possibility of using DNF backhand. Um, you know, there are people talking about it. How could it be done or can it be done? Mm -hmm. Can it not be done? It's driven a lot of the work that I've been doing in OpenSUSE with the DNF package. And that's true. Neil is saying that this cooperation is basically driving his work, you know, in open source and making him contribute because he feels like maybe part of ownership in it. Exactly. And that's that's the key. I feel this is the key. Neil is to me like one of the very active contributors that, that we see. Uh, we we fully respect him if he touches if he suggests to touch like untouchable package in maintenance release. You know, guess what? We change it. <laughs> that happened. So this is this, this is the power. I will try very hard. Sometimes, sometimes you hear like this is enterprise. Like that's the say over the community. It's not true. Like we we break the rules to to make people happy if it's possible. Um, of course, we always have to uh, respect like uh, product stability. So it's a it's also a business question. Uh, I agree, but I feel like it helps to drive the development. And you know, we would have like really obsolete Libsy. <laughs> well, this time or RPM. There is no stability yet. Yeah, and since it's undecided, I feel like we can establish. Uh, communication ways and, and, and processes in a way that, you know, it will scale and it will make us uh, be really reactive to, to demand. <coughs> and I think this is the, this, this would be really success. So mm -hmm. that kind of leads me to a question I've got here. So we've been talking about like getting people involved in like sharing news and doing all that mm -hmm. stuff. Um, something that I felt was kind of missing from open to relief, you know, you and I have been doing the fe deep feature reviews. Something I thought was missing is we didn't really have Interactions with desktop team maintainers, the uh, desktop maintainers. Can I repeat it? Maybe? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so Neil is saying that one thing that he realized, uh, you know, that we do not really have good interaction with desktop maintainers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have. Uh, he mentioned that we have the uh, Monday feature review meetings where we may be processing requests from community. I am really happy for that. Uh, some of the requests get done, some don't. That's 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 life, and. We need to increase the yeah interaction with desktop. I feel like from SUSE's side, I'm not saying it's not a priority. I feel like now it's more priority than ever because um, you know there is interesting use cases that we can we can address, I guess. But yeah, it's true. Ifan, if you are listening, we have to fix them. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, good point. Any other suggestions? Like, how would you like to do that? Like, do you see any problems? Like. Um, for many people, it will be capacity issues. Uh, I know that some teams just can't spend, you know, like half a day on writing like really fancy blog post, and for that we are here. We have to learn it ourselves. <laughs> that's that's I think the number one problem. Uh, I feel like uh, if we join forces with the community Susecom, I'm not sure if is he here. No, he's not here. Uh, we could we could have some professional looking blog posts. Um, you know, our community Susecom has uh, professional writers. Oh, you're referring to Robert, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm talking about Robert. Uh, Neil actually re reminds me of, of sharing the name. And uh, yeah, I feel like it could look nice. So we are here to help. If you don't have capacity and you would still like to be effective at communication uh, to public and have the feedback loop, uh, 
somehow even if it's through the mitigator or middleman, which we, you know we will be bottleneck in the communication. They have to talk to us. We have to talk to you. We need to break that for as many teams as possible. It needs to be direct, just like DNF team, just like uh, Mias team does it. Do you guys have milestone planning for LPS? Uh, so uh, the only public information that is there, and maybe even the only information, I'm sure that some people have like a really good idea about how it should look like, but it's a proof of concept this October and uh, release next October. So this, that's, it's it's quick, yeah. The traditional slash, uh, like, you know, like, Roadmap looks like it's 12 months, right? <laughs> so, and now we have four months for proof of concept uh, and, uh, yeah, year and four months for, for GA, uh, which is important for people to realize. And if you have to have hands on, and, you know, you need to have some data to actually start these effective discussions. And what we have right now is basically imagine that you would take uh, maybe micro S desktop, you know, because it has also desktop part, also server part, so micro S with the desktop. You would not make an early release, and what do you like about it? It would be like, you know, frozen. What do you like about it? Like, um, what's problems for it? What, what problems do you see with it in your daily workflow? Or, or, you know, for your customers, for whatever your deployments that you have, what do you need to change? I feel like now is a really good time to experiment with these, provide early feedback, and uh, if people, I believe this is also teaser for maintenance. If they get really good, if they get really good feedback, they'll be probably more interested to talk to communities, right? It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, what, we, what we're trying to avoid with these meetings is that uh, some people do all the work, uh, get the product out, um, then the feedback comes. You should have done this better. You should have done that differently. Uh, this is okay, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And the meetings we have and work uh, shops, et cetera, they, they are meant for people to to, to give their input now. An input can also be just being there, thinking along, listening, understanding what's going on. That's also contributing. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I, I was on my. Right there. No, no, no. I'm not on hot. Uh, I'm not on my hotspot anymore. Oh, well, that's yeah. Not helpful. yeah. Oh. oh that's Let me tell you one thing. Uh, that's actually topic for you. Um, turn around, Kirtian. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> so one of the issues that was actually raised on the. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, one of the issues that was also raised, uh, I don't think it was top five. Uh, top five would be really, and we can show that, we yeah. can get connection back, was also that like our events are like hidden. Like yeah. you, really, you need to know when and where is it to actually be able to connect because we use Etherpad, right, Emily? Or maybe mm. Emily wants to talk, talk about it. Yeah, we've been using Etherpad to do a lot of our... It's part of meeting minutes, right? Like yeah, a lot, yeah, for meeting minutes and just for writing all sorts of... Which is, I, Thanks. I, that's good. It's like public, you know, people can read it. You see highlights if you do it in the right way, copy it from the previous one, and then you see what changed. Uh, you can have like good, that you will not get that from email, but from the, from the Etherpad, you can get like really easy, oh, a few new things, you know, from yeah, the same text. What, what we really need yeah. is something, uh, I've seen it, Neil, uh, Fedor Carl, yes. uh, Fedora's calendar, where basically everything that's going on uh, in re-meetings, uh, et cetera. Where people can join, right? Where people can join. Yeah. Uh, it's visible on one single page. So th we don't have that. Uh, now we have announcements here, there, everywhere. But Figuring out where what is going on when is really, really hard to do. Yeah. When is the board meeting? When is the community meeting? Yeah. When is the heroes meeting? When is... What is public difference? Right. Right. Why do I have to subscribe to the to the project mailing list to find out on which dates the board meetings are? Yeah. I, that should be on a, in a calendar. Yeah. Like, you know, if and if groups are linked to communicate, they can add you know information about like how to reach out to them. Maybe once a I don't mm -hmm. know once a month, like for half an hour, uh, and just go through some outstanding issues that are blocking people to contribute. Uh, that would be perfect. Like I, I know it's a lot of effort. I feel like it's not for every work group. So like, I can imagine how a city work group would probably not be in, <laughs> in 
interesting for you know many contributors who are you know working on desktop right now. So some groups definitely will have different audiences, periods of the meetings. Uh, you know, for some it's fine if they talk like once a year about what's new, um, and that's perfectly fine. For some, you know, like you really want to have initially like weekly, biweekly updates uh, where you know big decisions are made and you know people will be affected. And some 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 would be fine with monthly, you know, short short like tweets. <laughs> Right. Neil is actually saying, yeah, if you have ICS files, he actually gets notification about that the meeting is coming. And I really feel like we figured that it will be for the call, right? It's existing technology, and we just don't have capacity to, to do the instance right uh, now. I, I liked it when I got it, uh, when I saw the demo of it. Uh, it's, it's crystal clear. You can't be wrong as long as they put the dates in. And set the uh, time zone correctly. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, yeah, yes, uh, time zones are obnoxious. That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> We were, we were not going to talk about it. <laughs> and uh, an another thing, uh, since we've had Wiki opened, is that basically uh, the entire op started in Confluence, which is like the SUSE, you know, I don't want to call internal in uh, instance because it's publicly available, but like it's on, like logins are only for SUSE employees, right? So it's only limited to employees. And uh, I feel for many groups, it would make sense to be on Wiki by default and maybe reference stuff to Wiki. Uh, again, not for every group, for every group, definitely, like, probably not for ICP, again, good example. Uh, <laughs> but, like, for some groups, like, desktop, I can imagine how desktop, you know, like, our desktop Why? would be really cool on Wiki. And, you know, I guess this, this, this could help. It would help desktop team to get the good feedback. People would help to actually improve, like, team documentation. We have a lot of contributors who are willing to help, but they need to know where, how, you know, and have, yeah. have like, when, the overall, where, overall idea, like, wh where are we getting? And yeah. 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 There was, um, there was a question yesterday, I believe, to Alp Steering Committee. By the way, amazing recording. Please watch it. I think that was like one of my top favorite talks from the conference, uh, you know, where we people could ask anything. And uh, then we had constructive discussions. So I feel, yeah. Uh, what else do you have in mind? So we are talking about Condor. We are talking about like being on being on Wiki by default, if it's possible, if it's applicable. We don't want to duplicate information. So if team actually has a need to have something in Confluence, for example, it doesn't make sense to just duplicate it all over again, maintain two sources of truth. I'm talking about teams where it makes sense to be on Wiki by default, and they maybe just, just map Confluence to it. Um, you know, we don't want to cause more work, but we want to work smarter, I guess. This, that should be the code. Uh, any, I see many maintainers uh, or managers of maintainers here. Uh, what's, how do you see this? Like, do you feel like some of the, you know, we could improve some of some of it, or do you feel like maybe we are looking at it from a wrong angle, or maybe that, uh, you know, you see a better solution? Any ideas? Yep. Uh, also, one thing uh, which is important for me as well is if you look at the complete fundamentals of how we communicate. For example, Wiki for open source, I guess like this this is like large part large part of the official discussion. Like we should also talk like whether the existing tooling is good enough, whether with a new product portfolio it makes sense like to use the same tool, maybe exchange themes, you know, where it's applicable, to have the same look and feel. And I feel like these are issues that we should touch as well. I'm aware of the roadmap. Uh, I'm aware that this is not necessarily connected to our roadmap, but uh, you know I feel like it's a good time to actually think about. Let's see, we are talking about the the brand look and everything, which which people kind of find worrisome. That this is something that we should revisit as well as a as a community group. Like, are the mm -hmm. current tools sufficient? Like, should we have some new ones? Like, for example, should we keep you know the old ones, uh, or should we maybe in five years consider a replacement of something? That's uh, I see. I see some open source heroes maybe being concerned. <laughs> But uh, I feel like the look and feel will be important. I feel like a lot of tools that we have are awesome. You just need maybe a little touch, like software open to the org. Uh, I think it's awesome tool. But uh, we need to make uh, consuming of software out of distribution easier. Tell people which which out of you know thousand develop projects you should choose to actually consume. I don't know um, software for three D printing from, which is not part of the distro. So making it easier for people to do what they need should be also the key. 
if there would be any volunteer for that contribute open to the archive, I would be so happy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thoughts from you, Gartan, Emily? Also, what? Uh, how are we on it with the time? Are we like? Is it so good? Okay. Um, I don't know. Like there is many areas that we can revisit. Uh, I really want to make sure that it will be super easy to contribute to all. Um, <laughs> there was a nice comparison. We, I believe we were walking. Uh, was it with Harris yesterday? And we've, sa we've we've saw some graffitis under under the bridge. And you you've had like the the easy little ta uh, tags, and then you've had like very complex graffiti, which looked like actually very nice, and and fitted there. And I was comparing it to the con you know to the contributors to start with something small and, and easy you grow, and I feel like uh, you know if you want to grow a healthy community, we will also need to provide like a successful mentorship or you know um, coaching of people how they can become good maintainers. Emily is a good example. She started recently. Now she's made, I don't know how many packages are maintaining. And you started like not really maintaining, but I'm just updating. yeah. You're packaging. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Uh, and we need to you know like she's super good use case. Uh, for our, you know, bar, I guess. Like we, we've done, yeah. you know, that was like really, really success story. So, person joins bar. I'm interested in helping. Like, show me how, and then you, you make it happen. And uh, you know, we didn't have bar. Like, uh, I'm not sure if it would be possible, like during the time where we are right now, like, uh, and and tools that people use uh, without something like bar. At least not as effectively. So, communication channels. Uh, a lot of people are on RC. RC is cool. Like it. Uh, Many people actually use Element over there. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just talking to Robert Sirchia from the community team, and you know, how do I join? You know, how do I get started? And then I put in his, pointed him to the wiki, but like didn't maybe it mentioned Element, but it wasn't very obvious. And but that contribute should definitely say, well, these are the ways how you can communicate, and this is what we actually recommend on these you know channels, for example. Th this is where you can read about. Nowadays, we are also active on Reddit, Twitter, everywhere. You know, we have to be. I feel like we have to adapt to the time. Susa had like, you know, we adapt to succeed. So I feel like we have to adapt to whatever people are using to make it, you know, be, be there where they are. And uh, just by addressing these uh, new social networks where people, you know, interested in open Susa communicate, we've gained like way more audience in our meetings. Uh, I believe that the workshop had 50 and yeah, 50. And yeah. for, for the like- The initial workshop was huge. Yeah. Whoa. And, uh, and uh, just to give you numbers, the internal, all when we were really starting it, I think it was 38. So just by posting it on Reddit, like we got more people than internally, you know, talking to all engineers. So there was a big interest. I feel like we've got like, you know, some themes of, of issues, which is good. Like if you see, if you have two separate groups, you don't give them information about like what did the, 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 the first group said, and you see that some topics are overlapping. These are the topics that you need to address. So the workshops are really powerful tools uh, or, or, you know, ways how to get feedback. I feel we need to do that more often. Mm -hmm. uh, There's also the aspect of if uh, many people want to contribute, but they don't know what to contribute to, That's what true. they can do. And yeah. these, these, the, these workshops are the places to just go in. Um, you might see something, hey, I could do that, yeah. uh, which I... Uh, yeah, which uh, if you don't join these uh, things, then you will never know. So if you want to contribute, go for it. Join these uh, meetings and, and workshops and uh, let us know what you can do. Yeah. You know, like I can imagine that we, we are not asking all the teams to do these workshops, but we can do it for you if you tell us what information you are looking for. So uh, in the last workshop, we were really focusing on the data for desktop group. And my input was, actually, if it would be on Wiki, it would be better in this case. I went for docs, and I was like, hey, it's not much of data. You know, like, uh, I see, like, technology is being considered. It's not public, so we have to kind of, you know, tell people what we are actually considering. And so we actually, I, I asked Scott Reeves uh, and Ethan, uh, you know, what sort of data do you want? And you want like something from survey where you will get a lot of data that you have to process or do you want, maybe want to be in person on that workshop to actually hear it yourself? And then, you know, you have the information, you don't have to reread anything. And we've done it in this way. So, you know, if for example, SAP is again not a good example, but uh, maybe a uh, bootloader or a group, you know, they would like to talk maybe about ARM and so on. They would like to get community feedback uh, of the community hardware. 
if they want to be there, they can ask us, hey guys, can you do something for us? Uh, you know, and one of the people from the group will be there. Yeah. We can do it for you. We are here to help. We are really trying to make it as easy as possible. And for the groups that don't have staffing, they don't have resources to, to do that on their own, we can help. We have, we have people who are willing to help, but we just need to know how we can help. Yeah. And that's important. Like helping without actually like knowing what team needs is, is not really helping. Uh, how are we on with time? It's done. I'm like running out of ideas and I would like to hear from others because this is basically why we are here. Um, so for everybody who's actually watching the recording, uh, on the beginning you've seen the wiki page about the community work group. We have a communication metrics there. Like also how can you reach out to us? Uh, if once we have federal instance, you will also see our uh, meetings in there so you can subscribe. You can pop in there. Uh, if there's an interesting topic, you can start, you know, we will have many topics, including translations, you know, we will have to use WebLite. You can talk about, like, how it should be structured, for example, stuff like that, you know, whatever you are interested in, I believe we have to touch all of the topics, because we are, we are going to build community distribution. So, uh, some, some of the, some of the uh, proof of concept will, or parts of it will come from SUSE, for sure. We, we have to design the way how it's built, but you can be part of it. And I feel like this is the imp important part if we want to reestablish the sense of ownership in the product. So, yeah, just just feel free to join the meetings. If you are looking for somebody, you are looking for ways how you can help, we will find you some work. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, by all means, join the meetings, and we'd love to see you there. Yeah. And we'll find something that you can help us with. Easy ways is, like, actually helping us to spread the news, you know, on platforms where we, you know, maybe your local platforms in your region, uh, which we just, you know, we don't know the language, we don't know, like, the platform, so um, just telling us, I will do X, Y, Z, it's covered. Uh, maybe we can find you a few more people who will help you, and we can be effective at this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool, and thank you very much, and uh, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we don't have, we have mailing list. We were discussing that we should have probably, like, a I, yeah, I don't think Telegram channel or something. I don't think it's, yeah, I don't think it's... It's there's weekly meetings now. It's weekly yeah, meetings it's with meeting meetings. minutes, action items. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tamara wants to speak. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. This is yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is going back to communication from individual work groups, right? So Tamara is saying that right now it's like uh, the best time to get involved in contributing because it's exciting time, right? We have a new source, a uh, new distribution coming, and uh, Tamara mentioned that. There was an information about we may be switching from Wicked to Network Manager. And when can be the status of this transition found? Like, is it even a thing? And that goes back to it's in Confluence. And like, exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and and like, like, this is not this is like technology decision for the future, right? Yeah. Which is like not given. And and I feel like people may be afraid like of commitment, but uh, I feel just public. It, it should be really considered like public discussion. And uh, in this case, I feel like this could be in, in you know, in Wiki, and it should be, especially well, during. Ah, Thorst Thorsten is saying that this is currently uh, in a block on microOS OpenSUSE org web page. Yeah, and, and one thing from me, if every work group would actually work a little bit on the landing page on the wiki, like just a tiny bit, like five minutes, uh, just to tell, well, we have some inform interesting stuff here and here and here. That's what would solve Tamara's problem right now. Yeah, as for how to start contributing, by all means, join the community meetings. Yes. Start there. Next Tuesday, by all means, yeah. It, it'll, yeah, they're not going on this week, obviously, because this is going on. Correct. But they are it's at... Tuesday. Yeah. I, I will be there. Yeah, well, yeah. So I don't... Okay. Are you here in Europe? Yeah. So I don't know what time they are for Europe. I, I, I'm in the U.S., so 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. Otherwise, hop into the bar. Uh, yeah, by all means, join be, the bar. There, there, there will always be somebody there who knows yeah. when yeah. these meetings are. Yes. Or that. who to contact. So, uh, yes. By all means, join the bar. <laughs> One thing. Yeah. yeah. And or Bill. At this <laughs> point, basically, yes. <laughs> but yeah, we are not using bar for the meetings. That's just slash meeting. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> Fact check. Yeah. Uh, one th one thing. Uh, uh, one thing. If we if the time doesn't work for you, we still want to help. Uh, it's I I told you like we are stealing that meeting from from regular meetings. So uh, that's we are stealing that slot. Right. And but there's another meeting there's, later yes. on in the yes, and is it evening. Yeah, it's it's on uh, 9 uh, p.m. my be, time. Yeah. Uh, 9 p.m. nowadays. Tuesdays at, uh, oh. Four, half past four Tuesdays half past four. and how and nine, nine Thursday, Thursday, yeah, nine p.m. There we go. So and we if if we will see that there's twenty people who want to help and they are in TZ, which just doesn't work with these times, like we can try to find new slot. You know, I'm happy to do that. Like I don't mind. This is a community work. I'm also trying to contribute yeah. outside of my work time. You know, to do proper community contributions. So yeah. I'll be happy to pop up there if there is a topic to discuss. Yeah, sure. Cool. And thank you very much. And you know, talk to you in bar, I guess. Yes. <laughs> or slash meeting. And or the meeting. Yeah.